Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hello and welcome to Rahman Digital Production. This is fifty. Uh, this is physics fifty fifty four of GCE. And today's lecture is lecture number thirteen. Today we are going to discuss a very important topic, and that is scalars and vectors. Why the need arose? Because force is a vector quantity. We will always saying that we will always be. notifying you people that uh force is a scalar quantity uh, vector quantity so what is vector we have to understand this vector quantity and scalar quantities uh before going into the detail of scalar quantities and vector quantities we have to first define the uh, physical quantities what are the physical quantities those quantities which can be those quantities which can be measured is called physical quantity those quantity which can be measured are known as physical quantities for example for example we can say that for example we can say that mass is a physical quantity because we can measure the mass in gram or in kilograms or in milligrams but can be measured force can also be measured velocity can also be measured i am writing etc ladies and gentlemen is there any quantity which is not measurable yes there are quantities which cannot be measured and that is for example beauty of flower there is no scale to measure the beauty of flowers etc there are many example we also discuss that in the mathematics course as well so you can see the mathematics course as well physical quantities physical quantities can be further subdivided into subdivided into two classes one is called scalar quantities the first one is called scalar quantities first of all we are going to discuss the scalar quantities those quantities which can be completely specified 
by its magnitude and proper unit yes this is important books are only mentioning that it can be specified by its magnitude only in this book at the first portion it is also written that scalar quantities can be completely specified by its magnitude only now it is not correct because a proper unit is not there then you cannot completely specify your wish for example at your homes if your parent is telling you to bring five sugar five sugar if unit kilogram is not there gram is not there or other unit of measure are not there then the child will be confused that what do you mean bring five sugar five gram of sugar no it cannot if i am saying that bring two kilogram of sugar from the bazaar then you are completely conveying your wish to your child uh, scalar quantities for example is mass mass is a scalar quantity similarly distance is a scalar quantity distance etc these are the scalar quantities one thing you should keep in mind that scalar quantities can be added or subtracted by simple arithmetic rule by simple arithmetic rules what does it mean it means ladies and gentlemen that if you want to for example a 2 kg of sugar can be added or subtracted can be added with 3 kg of sugar with the 3 kg of sugar and that will be 5 if somebody is taking sugar of 20 kg but at the later part he or she is changing his or her mind no i want to get 20 uh, 15 kg of sugar from 20 15 can be subtracted with ordinary arithmetic rules similarly multiplication of scalars are possible similarly division of scalars are possible so it means that ordinary arithmetic can be used to calculate the amount of scalar quantities the second part is called vector quantities vector quantities ladies and gentlemen that is also a physical quantity these are also physical quantities physical quantities which 
can be completely specified completely specified by its magnitude proper unit as well as by direction as well as by direction are called uh, uh, vector quantities ladies and gentlemen let me give you one another example of scalar quantities so that we are clearing our way for vector quantities and in gentlemen if you are standing at a point and somebody is telling you to go five steps this is scalar because no direction is mentioned you will be confused that you will be confused that in which direction i should move either i should move to the right or to the left backward or forward so complete specification is not there when you are only telling the magnitude which is 5 proper unit which is steps if i am telling a person go five steps and if that person is coming five step forward then i will tell no i mean to go back far he will say that you not specify the direction so if i am saying that go back five steps from your current position backward then it means that that person will completely understand your wish that is why i wrote physical quantities which can be completely specified by the magnitude in this case i told five proper unit steps and direction backward forward to the left or to the right for example for example force uh velocity and acceleration and acceleration etc are the example of uh vector quantities vector quantities vector quantities cannot be added are subtracted by ordinary mathematical rules special rules are used special rules are used to add or subtract the vectors ladies and gentlemen let me tell you whatever concept we are having in maths is a 
in maths we are saying that there is a concept of matrices in computer science we are saying arrays in computer science we are in business we are calling tables and in physics we are referring to those as vectors quantities so all these concepts in different subjects are giving you the same concept matrices arrays tables vectors these are all the same concept so keep this in mind now vectors can be represented vectors are represented by a bold face letter a bold face letter are putting an arrowhead above the vector quantities above the vector quantities in literature if you are saying that a so it will be a bit bold and the second way which is graphical representation graphically a vector can be represented by putting an arrow head above or below yes below is also there remember that you can represent a vector by putting an arrow head which is showing the direction there is also a half arrow as well so these are all the ways of the representation of vectors quantities now vectors can be added graphically graphical representation graphical representation re presentation of vectors this is our next topic the topic name is not given in the book but the explanation is given in the book a uh, graphically a vector can be added by head to tail rule we will discuss that head to tail rule as well but before that i am telling you that how you will represent the uh, vector quantity on a piece of paper okay ladies and gentlemen you have to follow certain steps when you are representing the vector the first one is draw news draw news how you have to draw north south east and west this is the first step 
the second step is specify a suitable scale a suitable scale for example if we want to i am writing it for example if we want to for example if we want to denote for example if we want to denote 20 meter per second so towards north 45 east towards the north east now we cannot draw a line representing 20 meter it's a very large distance so we have to specify a suitable scale there is no hard rule for specifying it totally depends on you for example in this particular case one centimeter is equal to five meter per second so if one is this much five meter per second then to represent a velocity of 20 meter per second we have to draw 4 centimeter to represent Twenty meter per second velocity we will represent it by four centimeter line. Yes, four centimeter line is quite possible on the graph, but that is not possible on the graph to draw 20 meter line so draw a representative line number third part i will write it okay in the third step draw a line in the given direction draw the line in the given direction for example it is given here north and east 45 degree so you have to draw like this i am drawing it like this a long line whatever you can but you have to draw it on the 45 degree this must be 45 degree number fourth part i am writing cut the line according to the given scale for example for example 4 centimeter and then i have to cut this line of 4 centimeter using a scale number fifth put an arrowhead in the given direction in the given direction put the arrowhead in the given 
direction. For example, the direction is this one. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is the representation of uh, a vector quantity through graphical method. If you want to represent, you can say that a vector is equal to b vector plus c vector. That is not the graphical representation of the uh, vectors, but through this you can use the graphical method. Ladies and gentlemen, one thing I must tell you that vector addition is possible. For example, addition of vector is possible. How? For example, there is a line which is 2 centimeter and that is A. And there is another line which is 4 centimeter and that is B. So, you have to bring this and put it here and it will give you a representative line till here because this gap when you are doing so that will be 6 centimeter and that will be the resultant vector which shows the overall effect of these two vector and you can write that this is a plus b vector similarly subtraction is also possible subtraction is also possible if there is a vector of 4 cm and you want to subtract minus 2 cm which is called negative of a vector. So, if it is given like this, that will be the positive. This is A vector and this is B vector. If you want to subtract that this A vector from B vector, which will be A vector minus B vector, and that will be first you have to find negative of b. So, negative of b will be the same magnitude with the opposite direction. And then you have to add this with the first vector. And that is like this. It means that sub very important term. It means that the subtraction of vector is actually addition of vector in opposite direction. So, you have to subtract this much from this and then this will be the representative vector A plus and negative of B. Multiplication of vectors is also possible, ladies and gentlemen. Multiplication of vector, there are two types, very quickly. One is called dot product and one is called cross product. This is not the scope of this course. We will discuss that if we got time in the A level, not here. There are two, dot product and cross product. I wanted to tell you that product of vector is possible, but remember my these words. In these words, I am saying that division of vector is not possible. Division of vector is not possible. Just like one matrix 
is not possible to be divided by another vector. I told you that matrices also convey the same concept. Just like one table cannot be divided by another table. Similarly, one vector cannot be divided by the other vector. Three arithmetic uh, methods can be applied with the matrix addition, subtraction and multiplication. Division is not possible. I am writing and then finishing the note division of division of vectors is not possible. Remember, is not possible. Tomorrow we will discuss head to tail rule in parallelogram law how to add the two vectors this was just the representation graphical but we will turn our focus to the addition of vector by law of parallelogram and also by the head to tail rule which is given in your book parallelogram law both are the same Thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, please subscribe my channel and share it with your friends and family members and support me. Thank you. Allah Hafiz.